Hey book nerds, welcome to my channel. Today it's time for my monthly Snakes and Ladders TBR. Um, if you haven't watched one of these videos before I will link the explanation video down below. You can watch the previous month's ones. I basically, this is the way I pick my TBR now. So I didn't do this last month and I realised I probably should have. I'm just gonna very briefly recap how I did on last month's prompts. So I did them all, I completed them all and for reference they were Anticipated Thriller, and I read You Don't Know Me by Imran Mahmood. Random Cover Colour, I generated Purple, and I read Never Have I Ever, which was an arc I had. Uh, I got Contemporary, and I read, read Radio Silence by Alice Oseman. I had Lie or Liar in the title, and I read The Marriage Lie by Kimberly Bell. Uh, author I Hate, and I swapped this, I ended up reading The Perfect Stranger by Megan Miranda which I did in a buddy read with Nicole from Beautiful Chaos of Books. And it had a 28 release and I read What If It's Us by Adam Silvera and Becky Albertelli. So, so far I have not failed to do a Snakes and Ladders prompt. Hopefully that won't change this month. So, um, yeah, let's start playing. So that was a two, a very poorly thrown two. And that takes me to Contemporary again. First prompt was Contemporary again, which I'm not happy about, but also the whole point of this is to get me to read things that I wouldn't normally pick up. So for this, I've picked Noteworthy by Riley Redgate, which I am very excited to read. This is about a girl who can't join the female a cappella choir because she gets rejected because her voice is a tenor. Um, so she ends up dressing up in drag and joining the male a cappella group and then she gets accepted into that group and she's basically juggling the secret and normal life. I've heard really good things about this book, um, it's got quite good ratings and to be fair I do enjoy reading more contemporaries in the summer. So let's see if we can get something a bit better than contemporary. Five. Mm. One, two, three, four, five, snake. Oh, here we go. I've gone down to an author I hate. So I landed on author I hate again, which gives me the opportunity to read When She Was Bad by Tammy Cohen. This was the book I was going to read last month and I ended up swapping it for The Perfect Stranger because of the buddy read. Um, this is a thriller about an office and someone new joins the office and then someone in the office is a secret and one of them is willing to kill to keep that secret. Um, that's all I know about it. Month really isn't going well, is it? So let's see. Three, one, two, three, series. Okay. The next prompt was a new one, and that was to read a book in a series or to start a new series. I have picked The Raven King by Maggie Stevarter. I'm going to finally finish The Raven Cycle. I say finally. I did only start it a few months ago. Um, but yeah, I'm actually reading quite a few series at the moment. So I started Three Dark Crowns, which I'm doing a book a month until the final one is released in September. I'm also rereading the Harry Potters, uh, mostly on audiobook. I'm doing that with the Time Turner book club. So I am actually reading more series at the moment than I um, normally do. But I'm going to finish The Raven Cycle and get that one out of the way. The Raven Cycle is a fantasy book series um, about a... The first one is about a girl who has a clairvoyant family and she is not clairvoyant but she's been told for years and years and years that if she kisses her true love they will die. She meets this group of boys who are hunting for the grave of this dead Welsh king um, and the series is kind of about their relationships and paranormal stuff that's going on and there's a whole host of things going on but it's really good. Two, one, two, back to 2018 release. The next prompt was 2018 release. I wasn't sure on this one, but after some deliberation, I've decided to go for Soul Kill Girls by Claire Legrand. This is about three girls who live on an island, and on this island, girls get taken, um, supposedly by a monster. And I believe it's about them grouping together to 
find out what's happening and stop it happening. I know there is queer rep in this, I know there's um, people of colour rep in this, and I've heard fantastic things, so I'm quite looking forward to it. Five. One, two, three, four, five. Ooh, we've got a ladder. And we have Author I Love. The next prompt is to read book by an author I love. Thankfully that kind of balances out the author I hate. I picked Sadie by Courtney Summers. I picked this A because it's really short and B because Courtney Summers is one of my favourite authors of all time. It's been ages since I read a book by her and I've been not picking up Sadie for ages. Um, and it's time I read it because I will love it. It's about a girl who I believe her sister was murdered years ago and she's going on a journey to find and avenge her sister's death. Um, there's also a podcast element so I believe there's a guy who's obsessed with the case who is running a podcast about it and he's trying to find Sadie because she's gone missing because she's run off to do this quest and I'm pretty sure that's what the plot is. One final throw for this month we're all the way at the top now. Five again. One, two, three, four, five. We have landed on retelling. And the final prompt of the month was a retelling. Um, for this, I am think I'm going to read this book. But I don't own this book yet, so if I don't buy it, I might swap it out. But I'm pretty sure I'm going to buy it really soon. And that is The Girl in Red by Christina Henry. Um, this is a really, really new release, but Christina Henry is one of my favourite authors of all time. She writes fantastic horror retellings of like fairy tales and other stories. Uh, Lost Boy by her is one of my favourite books ever. Girl in Red is the new one, it's about Little Red Riding Hood and it's going to have strong feminist elements because all the books do. And it's also going to be, um, be a really <laughs> graphic horror, I believe. So. Yeah, I will almost definitely read this book, but I do not currently own it. So yeah, so those are all the Snakes and Ladders things. So if you're only interested in that, you can click off now. Thank you so much for watching. Um, I've just got a couple more books that I am planning to read this month, which I'm going to talk about now. Uh, if I take part in any readathons, I will do separate videos for those. I haven't planned them at the point of filming this. Um, but there are a couple of buddy reads I have. I am planning to read Perfume by Patrick uh, Suskind. Suskind. Um, this is a really famous horror book about a guy who I believe he murders women because he's trying to create the perfect perfume so he murders them and like uses them to make perfume. Um, I'm buddy reading this with uh, Charlie Brooke who I'll link her channel down below. She's lovely, it's our first buddy read together so I'm excited to see how it goes. I've been putting off reading this book for ages uh, and I think I'll really like it, so fingers crossed for that one. The other buddy read I have planned is with Katie from Kit, Kit Cats Can Read. I'll link her channel down below. And that is There's Someone Inside Your House by Stephanie Perkins. I've heard mixed things about this book, but again, it's been on my TBR for ages. Um, and I saw Katie post, she posted like a couple of books on Twitter that she wanted to buddy read with people. So I thought it'd be really fun to buddy read this, because if it's terrible, at least we can kind of trash it together. <laughs> Um, this is a thriller, a young adult thriller specifically I believe and it's about a girl who has like a dark secret and she moves to a town and then her uh, classmates start getting murdered one by one. So um, yeah, it should be an interesting read. Got some dark buddy reads planned for this month. Uh, I've really gotten into buddy reading as well so I said this last month and I'll say it again this month, if at any point anyone would like to buddy read with me please do contact me because I've really got a taste for it now and I really enjoy doing it. So those are those books that I have planned. I have many arcs to read which I'm not going to talk about now because I'm not entirely sure which arcs I'm going to read this month but I will mention them in my wrap-ups. Uh, I'm also, as I said, rereading the Harry Potter series as part of the Time Turner book club. I will link their Twitter down below. Um, I'm really enjoying that. So it'll be Chamber of Secrets and Prisoner of Azkaban, maybe Goblet of Fire as well in July. I can't quite remember, but the dates are all down there. And finally, I will be reading uh, Two Dark Reigns, I think is the sequel to Three Dark Crowns. Um, 
whichever the second one is of that series, I will be reading that in July as well. So yeah, it's a very busy reading month for me, but those are all of the books I'm planning on reading. Uh, thank you so much for watching. If you did enjoy this video, please give me a thumbs up. It helps me out massively. And I hope to see you next time.